What's up? And welcome to another episode of Evie's Review. So, as you can see, I'm out here at my workbench. I know it's pretty shabby, but I gotta keep the operating costs low. It's still a startup. But as you see here, I got everything I need to do surface mount soldering. I even got my ESD safe wrist strap, my lead free solder, and my bismuth and real resin solder paste and flux. So today is a good day and I'll tell you why. I just got an email from Mauser Electronics and they said, we're sending you your chips for the backsid in July. And I said, okay, well that's better than estimate unknown. And then I got another email that said, we're sending your chips in January. And I said, oh, January 2023, right? Right. And then I said, well, let me go see what DigiKey has. So I went to DigiKey and I searched for the same chip. And they said, oh yeah, we got 2000 something or other in stock. And I said, sold. My customers need me. So I ordered a big stack of chips. So now I can go back into full production for the back SID. And in celebration of this Thanksgiving day, I'm going to show you an Eevee's dozen of real hardware samples of what the back SID can do. So, check it out. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Won't she be? Blueprints. Okay, the object of this game is to collect all the pieces. Avoid the garden gnomes, and you don't want to visit any of these houses more than once. Not just because they're ugly, but you see there could be bombs in there. I don't know why people would put bombs in their house. So then you put the other shoe on. Watch out for the monster. Oh, monster. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that this is a demonstration of the back SID. So you may have already heard about the back SID, but in case you haven't, it's a replica for the Commodore 64 SID sound chip, and I designed it to be able to replicate all these game sounds with a reasonable accuracy. So that's it, I just beat the first level of Blueprint, and now I'm showing you Choplifter, and I really like those atmospheric kind of sounds. So here I'm collecting, or I'm rescuing, Alright, this is Commando, this is like a new souped up version, by new I mean like the last decade or two. So it's designed to be more like the arcade version of Commando, and I can show you going through this very first stage here. This is one of my favorite games of all time. It's 
called Fire Quest. The Adventures of Ugg, Part 2. It was a Part 1, believe it or not. So, you gotta climb up these little, like... I don't know what they are, like... Yellow things. Yellow stones and stuff. And you gotta find your way across these ropes. Try not to fall into the river. Now, I don't know what made this my favorite game. If it's, if it's like the graphics, or like the music, or... And maybe a little of, a little of each. And the frustration. It's a very challenging game. Okay. Frantic Freddy. I just wanted to let you know, this is actually played on a real Commodore computer, digitized into a composite recording device, and the audio, of course, is also coming from a real Baxid. So the other exciting thing about the Baxid is that it's actually available now purchase. So, if you know about Dungeons & Dragons, you might have an appreciation for this game. It's one of the very first kind of computer-based Dungeons & Dragons arcade-style game. sound is like I'm searching for hidden doors. disembodied hand. So yeah, this might not be quite as good as the arcade version, but it's pretty decent for a home port. include this one, <laughs> Ghostbusters. So you notice that the Baxid reproduces that speech sound in just the right way.
This is actually a code that I knew about way back in the day to get a whole bunch of money. So if you're going to beat this game, first of all, you have to start with a lot of money, but that's not all. You actually have to end with more money than you started with. Probably about like 10 or 20,000, uh, you know, US dollars. Now, the trick is you really want that station wagon, lots of traps, you don't need the portable confinement system, but you do absolutely need the ghost bait, and the ghost vacuum can't hurt either. Now, here's the wrong way to catch the ghost. I just kind of haphazardly just caught it, which doesn't usually work. Another visitor. Alright. Stay forever! Possible mission. Gotta find these puzzle pieces. And another thing, other than the crazy sound effects, is there is that speech synthesis again, which Baxit does replicate properly. And there's also this big, like, opal ball. And, yeah, don't fall to infinity. And then there's this crazy checkerboard room. This is how you get the codes to snooze the enemies and reset the platform lifts. You gotta go from lowest pitch to highest pitch. Now this is the latest bug fix that I did for Baxid. You hear that little clicky sound when he walks? That clicky sound is done at the very highest pitch and it's done using the noise waveform and it was kind of dropping out before but I fixed it so now you hear it. So that's a cool thing about the Baxid. You can actually update the firmware when I have updates and you can complain about things if you think something needs to be fixed. So during the development of Baxit I pretty much loaded up all these games that were my favorite games as a kid and I made sure that they all sounded just about right. And a lot of that is dealing with the subtle nuances of what happens when you use the not very really well documented uh, registers like the test register. Little tricks that coders used back in the days to get interesting sound effects that you couldn't do otherwise. Alright. Super Pipeline 2. This is definitely one of my favorites. Not just because you control this guy who's like a plumber. He's got little, two little plumbing assistants. And then there's all, all these like all these enemies in the form of like gosh, little, little wrenches. And, you know what half these things are? Drill press. to wreck your pipes. So that level is pretty easy, but it, it ramps up in difficulty. It's the thing about a lot of these older games, it's like, it's either super easy or just impossible. Impossible. Certain enemies can run into, but other enemies can destroy the pipe. Like that. I don't know why, but this, this game music reminds me of Weird Al doing Andy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and post in the comments what you want to see in the future. I am a developer, I'm an engineer, I'm a designer, I'm the chief executive officer of Pac-Man. And I make these silly videos. I'm always looking for ideas and 
collaborations and suggestions to make my products better. And if you want to see the kind of stuff I make, go to store.backbit.io. I don't ask for donations, but if you want to support me, you can purchase my products and use them on your vintage computers. And everything is supported at forum.backbit.io. Alright, and one last game to show you here. This is Tapper. This is the Mountain Dew version. So yeah, people go to a bar not to drink beer or anything, but uh, load up on Mountain Dew. And you got the evil villain shaking all the Mountain Dew cans. And then they shuffle around. Can I figure out which one was not shaken? Oh, this one's for you. Yeah, so thanks for watching, and I hope you're thirsty for another episode of Please Review.